Hey y'all, Natalie here today, and I'm doing another layout for Paper House Productions. I'm using these awesome 3D flag stickers that you can still find in the shop, and it's almost one of my favorite holidays, the 4th of July. So I decided to kick off the month by inspiring you with a patriotic page. I have these three little photos. I printed them in circles, and they are of me standing in front of some of the decor I put up for our party last year. I made this little um, cut file in my in Cricut Design Studio. It's just the word lit using a firecracker that I just found for free on Google. And here are a few of the papers that I just pulled out of my paper house collection. Blues mostly and a red star. That one's called Homefront Girl, I think. And then I have these fun um, stamps that are fireworks. So we're gonna play with all of this stuff together. So the idea is to have a group of circles just going down the left side of the page and then I'll put that um, title cut file on the right. So I am using my VersaFine ink to stamp all of these um, fireworks. And it's a fun mix and match stamp set by Katherine Puller. And then I am using my different embossing powders and glitter to put them over the VersaFine. Um, Versamark ink and emboss them. I think that one of the reasons that 4th of July is my favorite is because it's so sparkly. <laughs> I love glitter. Um, I love this raw embossing powder. It's one of my favorites. I will say it is a little bit hard to tell on screen when it is um, set. The silver you'll be able to see here in a few moments um, kind of changes completely when it's melted and you can see. Um, but I'm gonna spend a little bit of time stamping all over these um, fireworks and making them very glittery. I was a little bummed that I didn't have a red glitter um, embossing powder, but then I realized that having a more neutral background, if you can call all glitter fireworks neutral, <laughs> but they're all white or silver or blue, Having that neutral really makes the red glitter in the Paper House collection pop. So there you can see that silver glitter really changes color whenever it's melted. Um, and I, like I said, I super love glitter and I know a lot of people say they like glitter but then don't like the mess. Well, to me, this is a really great way to um, use glitter because it's not loose. Once you set it, it's not coming off. So while it may look a little bit messy there pouring it on, you really just use that tray and it, it isn't messy at all. Um, and then you set it and it's on your page forever and it's not loose down in your page protector. I'm just saying, get you some glitter and embossing powder. <laughs> um, so I'm just putting my photos back on to see how they look next to the fireworks. And I need a lot more fireworks. So let's work on that. I'm just using the stamps and kind of just putting them different spaces around the page. I'm also turning the stamp so that it looks different, um, kind of in a different direction with every stamp. I'm running a little bit off of the page to make it look organic. This is like an iridescent one, um, embossing powder. It, it dries kind of clear with just like an iridescent glitter look. It's super fun. So basically you're seeing the color of the paper through it. So if you did it on red paper, then it would look just like a red iridescent star. Super fun. And a lot of times embossing powder will go bad, but I find the glitter ones kind of stay around longer and they continue to melt more than like the opaque ones. So adding some more blue in there. I think it's called Midnight Dreams from Wild Embossing. And I think this might be my last one. And you know, looking at that right there, that stamp set can be used for so much. It, um, to me, looks a lot like uh, Deco Stars from like the 30s, minus that one little one that I just put in that I'm embossing right now. But those stars look really Art Deco to me. That's why I like to buy stamp sets like that that can be very versatile. So um, off screen, I die cut um, a few of the papers from Paper House into small circles that were mostly smaller than the photos. So I'm just gonna arrange them around the, down the 
fireworks side of the page. Um, make basically making sure that none of the colors, same colors, touch each other. They tuck under the photos. I wanted to um, kind of keep it simple, and I wasn't going to pop anything up um, because I felt like it was a lot going on with the fireworks. But I sit there for a second, and I think, well, I need something just to make it a little more me. So I decide to distress the edges of the circles. And for some reason, I think I think I like it because when you distress the edge of the circles, it just brings out like these tiny little white pieces of torn paper. And that kind of corresponds with the, there I am thinking, see? <laughs> that corresponds with the white cup file. So it just kind of tied everything together for me. So I do take the time and spend it um, distressing those. And it didn't really take me a long time, but I won't make you watch all of it. But I do go around all those little circles and it just gives them this extra layer of dimension and texture that um, just is my style, I guess. So I just need to do that. I'm having some trouble with my ATG gun. So I'm using my tearaway tape by, um, well, I think that came from Spiegel Mom Scraps, but they also do have it in the Cherry on Top store. So it works fabulously. It will stick to those glitter um, stamped images just fine. So I'm just kind of tucking the circles on, around the photo and then laying the photo on top, making sure everything's clustered together perfectly. And once I get all of these down, it will be time to do the best part, which is embellish with stickers. <laughs> And that's where Paper House comes in. They are my favorite. They have so many stickers, literally for every single occasion. Like you could probably not name an event that we don't have a sticker that I could help you correspond with. That would be a fun game. Let's do that. Comment down below, tell me some random photos that you have and I will find you a coordinating sticker for it from Paper House. I might be stepping in it with this challenge, but let's play, it'll be fun. So I backed the rocket or the firecracker of the cut file with the same home front girl paper. And I'm loving how that looks. I just have some really old American craft stickers that I use for the word get. So it says get lit. Um, it's just about me and I like to put on a party. So that's what my journaling ends up being about. I use a white gel pen and I just put my journaling kind of above and below that cut file. Um, I liked using the white gel pen that didn't make it stand out too much. And um, I just talked about how I like to put on parties and uh, yeah. So here's the adorable 3D flag stickers from Paper House. There's also a few stars in there. And um, so I'm just gonna kind of stick those around my circle clusters. You can see there's kind of a few random um, emptier spots. So yeah, I'm gonna fill those in. So I stick that one there and then I go to put in the flag with the post and I decide that I want it right up there next to where I stuck the banner. So I'm gonna have to move that banner because it didn't look right to have two really 3D stickers right next to each other right there. So I move it up to the top there and it kind of mimics that um, circle that I cut in half at the very top of the page. So yeah, off screen, I add the journaling and that's about it. I'm gonna link down below with the Paper House um, affiliate link. If you'd like to shop, you can also always use my code ph 20 Natalie to get 20% off. There you can see my journaling that I did off screen. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to play along with my game down below. Maybe I'll send some goodies to um, one of the lucky commenters. Um, thanks for watching y'all, bye.